Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cato and Vaughn Automotive Summit, the 2011 edition. This is the only place where all the big CEOs, all the big car companies come to talk to you. Now, I will be assisted, as usual, by my uh, able assistant, the, uh, the great automotive journal from the left coast of Canada. It's uh, Jeremy Cato. Evening, Cato. It's always good to hold you up and make uh, yeah, you look well, good. Yeah, well, you're not yeah. giving me any long speeches this time. <laughs> we are getting right into the action. Now, first thing I want you to look at is this. Now, you see these little cars that are coming up now? These are B cars and C cars, and you know that one. Well, we've got a Ford Fiesta, and of course, the, you know, this is in a very important segment in Canada. Entry level starts at, well, 13,000 bucks this car starts for, and it's all about fuel economy. This is from the truck company. <laughs> Ford has got rich on F-Series and giant SUVs, and look at the blue one. Yeah, I, I think anybody at Ford would tell you the biggest challenge right now is convincing the buyer out there that Ford actually has cars in its portfolio. There's a big challenge there because well, it's Well, this one isn't in the showrooms yet. Well, but remember that, you know, the F-Series pickup, which you're not seeing there, is 100,000 units a year in Canada. That's huge. <laughs> right. So you got to tell people, we've got other cars. Well, those numbers have made Ford the number one car company in mm -hmm. Canada in this past year. After about 100 years, yeah. they passed General Motors. Here's the president of the Ford Motor Company of Canada, <laughs> David <laughs> Mondragon. Welcome. Welcome back, Dave. Great to be here. Great I look forward year to you this have. more than any other interview of the year. <laughs> Dozens of viewers do soon as well. Dozens across the country. The ratings the are moving forward fast. You're <laughs> drawing an audience for us. Well, look, you draw, uh, drew an audience to, to, to the showrooms this year. I mean, I guess it was partially the, you know, the bad press for General Motors and Chrysler going through the bankruptcy. But I think it was more than that. I see Ford is a very different company than I did just two or three or four years ago. Yeah, I think people came in our showrooms for a lot of reasons, uh, but first and foremost is because we're building vehicles customers want in value. If you look at our product lineup, uh, we have more new car entries today than we've ever had before. Yeah, but you and came, we continue to became populate. number one, uh, and yeah. those cars aren't even there yet. Mm, yeah. I you mean, it became number one well, with, the, with the SUVs and with, yeah. the, with the pickups. But they are there. Remember last year, our, yes, our car sales were up 20% last year. The car industry in Canada was down 5%. Right. We were the only one of the major five manufacturers actually grow car sales and it's because of the strength of our line. Look, Fusion is the best selling vehicle in its class in mm -hmm. the CD segment. Outsells Accord and Camry. Uh, so that's quite a statement and, and, and Fusion doesn't have that performance anywhere else in the world. And it's got the quality so, ratings too. <laughs> it's got great quality. Uh, it's got great safety. Even better, we've got great fuel economy. The fuel economy story is really breaking through for consumers and for our brand. That's bringing people in our showroom. We have uh, the best fuel economy in every segment that we bring new vehicles to market now. And we did that last year, and we're doing it moving forward. But you must, you got to admit that part of the success has to do with the bounce you got from Chrysler and General Motors emerging from bankruptcy. You didn't take the money, they did. And there, is, there, is, there are many consumers out there who feel that you deserve some credit for that Ford Motor Company. Does. Well, thank you, and I appreciate that. And, and it did get us on the consideration list. It got us around coffee tables, it got us around dinner tables, and at the water cooler in terms of conversation. But quite frankly, when consumers come into your showroom, that can only mm -hmm. get them into the showroom. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make a difference whether they're going to put down hard-earned <laughs> cash to buy a vehicle unless it shows value to them. And it's something they truly want in value. And that's what's happened. They came into our showroom and they said, this is not the same showroom <laughs> that I saw five or ten years ago. It's totally new. It's totally uh, been... been uh, Freshened, and the products we have today are world class. Okay, you had your great year without <laughs> the Focus. The Focus yeah. is arriving now. Yeah. That's the C car. That's where people shop in this country. What can you do with the Focus? Well, globally, the C car segment is the largest segment in the world. It's 25% in Canada. It's about 27%. It should be, and we think it'll grow to about 30%. And we're going to come uh, bull barrels. We're really, we're really coming hard at that segment. We've got a lot of new entries. We'll have globally 10 vehicles in the largest segment as we go forward. In Canada, we'll have nine. So we'll truly be fishing where the fish are biting. If you look at us right now, we only have one vehicle in the C-Car segment. And that's a, I consider it a half a vehicle because it's only a four-door model. Yeah. It's a four-door model, but it's a great value. <laughs> it's a four-door model, and half of that segment is five-door. So yeah. we're going to come to market yeah. this year with not only a world-class four-door, but a world-class five-door. And so we're going to be competing in the full size of the segment. Ford is hot right now. You're number one in, in Canada. You've got the new stuff arriving every day. Morale is sky high. These are pretty good days at Ford. David, thanks for your uh, time tonight. Always good seeing you. That's so you're going to run me off this no. quick <laughs> after all these accolades. Number one. Uh, you don't get to enough stay said. On enough said. We'll, we'll see if you're there next year. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're going to try to hold. We're going to be like a cat on a hot tin roof. We're going to hold on. Thanks for your thanks, time. Thanks, gentlemen.